Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, let's look at the classic question, Planck's Cray. Planck's Cray is one of the many varieties of Cray, which is known as the most widely spoken Canadian Aboriginal language. Cray has two writing systems, Roman scripts and syllabics. You can see some of the syllabics here in the table. And you may have been familiar with quite a few of them if you use text emojis. Now it's time for us to warm up with some brain work. If you feel like sometimes you think about the question as we go, feel free to pause it anytime. Now we're given plain script written Roman scripts and their English meanings. And we're asked to match the unknown phrases in plain script with the given English meanings. We're also given a hint down the bottom saying that the alphabet C is pronounced as C. If we compare the original materials at the top with those in the question, it is easy for us to spot some similarities. And now we need some help from our best friend highlighters to color code the similarities in order to find the pattern. Here I have highlighted the pairs. Well, you may ask, what happened to the two starting with C? They're different. This is when we need to be mindful of the hints. We can see that apart from the C, the two pairs are the same. C is pronounced as T, so we can infer that when this suffix is added, there is some change to the original T sound and they become T. The meaning are not changed despite the changing pronunciation. And that concludes the first part of the question. And now we have a new challenge. We now need to use what we got in part one to find out the plain screen phrases reading in syllabics. Don't panic. Although the syllabics have nothing alike with English, we can still use the same strategy, which is to spot the repetitive patterns to decipher them. Due to the fact that the syllabics are a bit difficult to refer to, I gave them names, which I put down in the bottom in the box. If we look at the length of the phrases or words in Roman alphabets and syllabics, we know it's not possible that one syllabic script corresponds to one alphabet. Therefore, we can make a guess that one syllabic script corresponds to one syllable. A syllable is just one unit in pronunciation. For example, there are three syllables in the word minute, which are mi, ni, ent. By observing the syllabics, we can see clearly that they come up in pairs. What I then noticed is the endings, which mainly consist of syllabics of the ends, the flipped c's, and c. By using what I call counting methods, we can see that there are five superscript flip C's, six N's, and one C. If we go back to the Roman alphabet words and look at the last alphabet, there are five words ending with N, six with S, and one ending with M. This is a key to decipher the syllabics. It tells us that J corresponds to the word door in plain screen, since it's the only one ending with M. As the syllabics come up in pairs, we can find its counterpart F, which resembles J most. If we look at F, we will see that the superscript N appears twice in the syllabics. They correspond to the syllable S, pronounced as S. Therefore, the triangle here corresponds to the sound I. And now we know the second last syllabic in F, the right angle, is not I. We thus infer it's MI, me. Now we can look at other syllabics. D and I both start with the right angle script, or me. Only head and little head start with the syllable me. I ends with the superscript n, so we know I is little head 
and day is head. If we compare D and I, we can note the difference that the T sound is changed to T sound. And in the ending, it has a syllable N when D doesn't. We can therefore note down these findings in the table. Also, we find that B dot represents Qua. With that being said, if we look at F again, where we can see the B dot, it's easy for us to note down that the little pause subscript equals to H, and the Kang facing the left equals to CE. Now, we've got enough information. Let's look at the questions by order now. Question A starts with TI, and the only one starting with TI is the word hour. Therefore, we know that A means hour. From A, we can also obtain the information that the less than sign is the syllable PA or PA. The next step. Well, we know that when a word in plain script becomes little something, the T syllable changes to TS or TS. TI or T would then become TSI or T. And this gives us E. To confirm this, we look at A and E and find out that they do resemble a lot. Here from E, we can see that B alone refers to KA. So where there is a W, like QUA, you put a dot right after the syllabic scripts. What we have left is B and K, C and G, H and L. By observing, we can easily pair them up. Because like E and A, the sound T is changed to TS or TS. We know that H and L must be a pair. And thus, we know H means chair and L means little chair. Finally, if we look at B and K, the second syllable is S, so we know after comparing that B is little hat and K is hat. Therefore, C is nail and G is little nail. And this concludes our working for this question. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you very soon.